A few of you really liked my uh, video on Intel's process node technology, so today's quick news is all out of supercomputing 2020. Uh, here's my supercomputing 2019 t-shirt, and it's all to do with Intel's future manufacturing nodes. What's your minimum specification? So you may have heard of Aurora, uh, the supercomputer which is part of the US's X-Scale project. This is a computer that is for Argonne National Labs at University of Chicago. Uh, Intel is meant to be providing the CPUs and the GPUs. We already know that uh, the backbone of this uh, system is meant to be powered by uh, Sapphire Rapids CPUs paired with Ponte Vecchio XEHPC GPUs. Uh, there have been delays. Initially, this was a project for 2017, 2018. It was then delayed to 2021. And we know it's going to be have another delay. And the researchers there are already playing with XEHP GPUs in order to prepare to get ready for the system. Now, in one of the virtual booth presentations this year at Supercomputing, uh, Intel and uh, Professor Rick Stevens from uh, the University of Chicago, he's, um, he's an associate lab director for the Argonne National Lab, uh, they were speaking about what they're going to use the supercomputer for and uh, what sorts of software is going to go in it. Now, as part of those discussions, it was announced, it was announced, but announcement's kind of a strong word. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this. Maybe you'll tell me in the comments how to take this. Uh, but they were talking about how to use machine learning to help improve Intel's future process node technology, uh, integrating machine learning into uh, supercomputers in order to help uh, build the next generation of silicon. How do you see Intel and Argonne's collaboration evolving? So, thanks for that. So um, the the silicon process is a as a, as you know is a huge challenge uh, for the for the industry to continue to make progress on uh, accelerating uh, you know next generation uh, architectures by improving the silicon process nodes. And this is an area where. Um, uh, we're quite interested in collaborating with Intel on bringing simulation and AI to this problem of silicon process optimization. And we'll be making some announcements with you, you know, over the next few months on how we're going to do that. Now, when you design a silicon chip in a wafer on a process node, uh, you obviously have, uh, you know, holistic circuit diagrams that you then have to pick and place into the, into the right positions. Uh, with the transistors, you build them up into... Uh, essentially macros which then you can copy paste around the silicon and then the software the EDA tools to do that can help optimize for power for latency managing critical paths although those are based on very explicit and rigid rules what it sounds like that Intel wants to do with Argon here it, and because it was Professor Rick Stevens from Argon who actually uh, said this I'm beginning to think it's kind of a, a push from University of Chicago themselves because perhaps they might get IP out of it um, is to enable uh, machine learning, neural networks into part of that design methodology to help uh, help co-design these processes. Now, automating designer processes on this level um, has had its ups and downs in the past, especially just you know the rule-based uh, placing of, of uh, components in silicon. It'll be interesting to see what can be done here. Um, most process nodes these days have a good amount of DTCO, that's Design Technology Co-Optimization. Uh, and that's in order to essentially get the effect of a whole node transition benefit on the previous node. So, for example, with DTCO on uh, 7 nanometer, you can effectively get a 5 nanometer chip. And so DTCO is a big part of that. And that you know, requires a little bit of hand tuning, optimization of critical paths. And the idea is that maybe machine learning can do this and maybe they can get something out of it. Very interesting for Intel to Intel and Argonne to say this today, um, especially given that we already know that in Q1, Intel is going to be making bigger decisions whether to pursue its 7 nanometer process node by investing in the hardware needed to actually produce it. What are your thoughts? Do you think this could be the revitalization of Intel's uh, semiconductor node manufacturing, uh, introducing machine learning? For a big machine learning company, you would have, you'd think that they'd be using their own hardware to help develop their own products. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see how Intel goes down this route. So a big thanks to you all for watching this channel. I also have to give a big shout out to Razer for out outfitting me with the uh, Razer Keo webcam and this Razer Siren Mini microphone if you've noticed the audio improving on my videos lately a uh, big thanks to Razer for that thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe we have twitter we have patreon what's your minimum specification mm -hmm.